Hi everyone, this is Federico and I'm back answering your questions about how to do things with Cuddle. So I decided to warm up with a simple but useful question that someone submitted. And that was how to round just one corner of a rectangle. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a rectangle and also how it applies to other shapes. So let's do it. Um, I'm gonna create a new component. So I have a blank canvas here in the Cuddle editor. Then I'm gonna place a rectangle in the middle and I'm gonna make it bigger so things are easier to see and to type. Let's make it 10 by 10 inches. And whenever you wanna round the corners of any shape in Codal, you can select the shape and then go to the modify menu and there is a modifier called round corners. So I'm gonna apply it to this one. And this one gives me the option to modify the radius here on the right hand side. So if I click and scrub, you'll see that the radius increases and I can also decrease it. And I can always type specifically which number do I want for the radius. If I want a two and a half inch radius for all the corners, I can do that. So in order to uh, modify individual corners, I need to type a list of values, um, each value corresponding to one of the corners. And this is a little bit uh, awkward if you wish. <laughs> and, you know, it takes a little bit of typing when we're using kind of like a visual interface. Um, but this is gonna probably change in the future as Cuddle evolves. But for now, I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, because it's still a very powerful feature. So because I have four corners, I need four values. And in order to type a four value list, I'm gonna um, surround it by square brackets. So I'm gonna type uh, just the square brackets and then I'm gonna uh, type four numbers separated by commas. And zero is easy to type, so I'm gonna type four zeros separated by commas. So uh, let's see how this operates. Each number corresponds to a corner. And then um, it's easier to see by changing the numbers. I can still scrub individual numbers here. So I'm gonna change the first one. And as you see, this one corresponds to the top right corner in this case. Let's do the next one. So that corresponds to the next corner. And let's do the next one. That corresponds to the next corner and so forth, uh, uh, clockwise in this fashion. So if I wanted just one corner to have a radius, I can uh, make all the other corners zero. So let's say I want this corner, the top right, to have some radius, but all the other uh, ones to be zero, I can always type zero and zero. And this one can, of course, be any number that I want. So if I want that two and a half or anything else, I can still scrub it and adjust it. So that's the basic idea. You type a list of numbers, each number corresponding to a corner. So let's try another example just to reinforce the idea. Let's try a polygon. So I'm also gonna make it bigger make it 10 as well and so uh, I'll do the same I'm gonna select it I'm gonna modify I'm gonna go to modify menu apply it round corners and as you can see this number applies to all of the corners but then let's type a list of five corners in this case so I'm gonna type the square brackets and five zeros separated by commas another one there um, and I can always check, like often if I have a shape that is very complicated, I will just start changing the numbers and see what corresponds to what. So the first one is this one right here. And I think if I follow clockwise, I'm gonna get the same, um, the same pattern. So I can see these being useful uh, in a case where you wanna generate a sort of like um, very custom looking shape like this one where it has a, you know, a, a pointy corner and all the other ones are rounded. And I can, I, I can be more specific. I can say that that last one can have like, you know, a slightly smaller radius like that. Um, so yeah, that's the basic idea um, for rounding specific corners. Uh, as I said, this might change in the future, but for now, a list of values is how you do it. So thank you for watching. Thanks for submitting your questions and I'll see you in the next one.